So, I was browsing Facebook the other day, and uh, I came across a tweet that I was pretty sure um, didn't ask people like me, um, but like that's exactly why I'm responding to it today, because this tweet was a tweet about, you know, what to me amounts to like basic situational awareness. Um, and like, I, I even go a step further than a lot of these people affiliated with this stuff. So I, I thought I would go like over not only the first tweet, but also the list that this person posted, um, in response to it, because I guess the account, um, that posted the original tweet is suspended. So, you know, I don't know why that is, you know, I, I came across a screenshot and I thought I'd talk about it. Content! Also, it'll be one of two videos today. Um, and the second video will be shot in like a couple hours. Um, but like, I didn't <laughs> get in my quota this week yet. And I'm definitely not gonna, like, fuck my viewers over on daily content and not have, like, one of the ones this week. Yeah, I know shit happens, but, like, I still want to provide the content that my Patreon and Kofi subs are looking for. So, if y'all want to subscribe to any of that, feel free. The links are in the description. Um, but now that we're uh, through that, um, by the way, I'm a hideous freak. And a Gen Z uh, pussy, according to a commenter. Uh, I might go over some of those in, uh, in their own video, but my Bill Maher video really fucking triggered a bunch of people who like him. And, you know, simultaneously all these people are coming to slob his knob, and one of the oft-repeated lines is, I can't stand him. I often disagree with him. But, like, they're coming to slob his knob, so... Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, without further ado, let us get to the fucking point of the video. So, my neighbor was giving me shit for not taking the stairs down three levels into the basement parking lot, and I was like, I'm taking the elevator because there's no cameras in the stairwells, and the realization on his face reaffirms that men know nothing. So I think about this kind of stuff, and, um, like, probably more than your average woman, because I make a lot of enemies, as evidenced by the kinds of content uh, and comments that I get in return. And um, I know for a fact that some of them want me either injured or dead, you know, taken off the table. I've gotten a ton of death threats over my past. Um, and I can tell you that this is the kind of thing I think about. Um, so I thought I'd talk about what is in this tweet and then what's in the subsequent list that somebody posted uh, in response of things that women do that apparently they think men don't. I don't know that it's that universal, but a lot of the things in that list I do as well, so I'll be listing some the the, the things that I do, saying what I don't. Some of them are gender-specific anyway, so it's not like I can, or like, you know, sexuality-specific or whatever. So I'm not gonna fucking, like, say that I do things I don't, but, like, I am gonna uh, sort of give some pointers at the end of things that people could list to their... A sort of security regimen to assess their common threat model uh, because I think that's valuable and I think all this is valuable to be clear like this list is actually pretty solid um, mostly and I'll go over what isn't as well um, so <laughs> my neighbor was giving me shit for not taking the stairs down three levels into the basement parking lot and I was like, I'm taking the elevator because there's no cameras in the stairwells. So, my threat model includes the government. 
I generally try to avoid cameras, if I'm honest. Um, I'm more likely to take the stairs because there aren't cameras. Because, let's just say, uh, maybe one of my parkour sessions was in a sublegal place. Um, not that I would ever do anything like that. No. But let's just say that that's the case. I might not want people to know where I am immediately after I do that. You know? Or, let's say that I piss off cops enough by making a video against police or something, a tweet, it doesn't fucking matter, and the local uh, city police here decide to find me somewhere and uh, make an example out of me. I'd rather not. Or some disgruntled veteran doesn't like the way I was talking about war or the troops, and he decides to come after me. I'd rather not, you know? And... The stairs provide something that the elevator doesn't, in terms of security. From a woman's perspective, I don't mean to make you paranoid, right? But from a woman's perspective, if you're trying to avoid being trapped where it might be problematic, uh, let's say that the security team is an unforeseen part of your threat model. And one of them is the one who has seen you on the cameras a lot and wants his way with you. Elevators can be remotely stopped and they're kind of awkward if not just difficult to get out of. I don't want to alarm you, but that's how I would think of it. To me, stairs are you can go down at your own pace Um and I can run or jump down uh, through, across stairs at a fucking breakneck pace compared to an elevator if I'm on the run, if I think somebody's following me, etc., etc. Um, I can't do that in an elevator, you know? I can't do that in an elevator, so I probably won't take the elevator unless I fucking have to. And that's because it's part of my threat model. Like, if I've got some gigantic, like, Azov member, um, part of the a global Azov movement they don't want you to think about, uh, coming after me because I'm, I'm saying too much about the Azov movement and not being Slava Ukraina enough, then maybe I wouldn't want to be stuck in an elevator with that guy. Or I wouldn't want that guy to be able to stick me in an elevator by damaging the mechanisms and, you know, put a device in there for me. I just have... Call me, you know, a technophobe if you want. I reduce tech's influence in my life because the manual option is much, much easier to control. So, I, you know, that's, that's my response to that. I think about it a lot but I probably think about it in a different way, and maybe that'll give you an idea if you even see this video. Um, but, like, certainly all the women and men who have shared this image could maybe, like, benefit from hearing that. Because the stairs are much more in your control. Like, additionally, often stairs will have access to windows in case you need to jump out. Um, you know, like, some somebody's coming from the bottom and top... You can get out through a window. Somebody comes in through the top of your elevator that's stuck in the shaft, you're fucked. Um, and on the stairs, you can trip people while they're running on them and make their uh, pursuit of you difficult. You can do a lot of things. Don't do anything I recommend in this video, by the way. Absolutely not. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hideous freak and a Gen Z pussy. Uh, don't do anything I say in this video. Uh, you know, because that would be bad. Anyway, uh, now that I'm done with that bullshit disclaimer, um, fucking, you, you have more options, is all I'm saying. And if you're really concerned about there being a camera, bring a fucking camera, yo. Like, I don't, because that's just another way for somebody to track me, like, publicly. 
in public when I have my phone out and I'm not taking a picture, I literally cover my phone camera with my hand. I'm, I'm holding it like this and using my thumb like this, uh, like, or I'm holding it like this and typing like this because I don't like the idea of my camera being turned on unawares. Like, they can see my face if they want, but, like, I don't want them to see where I am, you know. That's the way that camera's facing. So, just off this tweet alone, uh, how much nothing do I know? Being an evil man type. Just curious. Anyway, uh, so that's part of it, right? Uh, and then we get to this list. Uh, Jason Katz, prominent social researcher. I haven't looked into this research at all, and, you know, to be honest, I think it might be bullshit, but this is a good list. So even though it's probably bullshit, I'm going to go over it because it's a good list. So, good list with qualifiers. This first one is bullshit. It's bullshit. Do not use your keys as a weapon ever. If you need a weapon, uh, a good YouTube channel to watch is uh, Hard to Hurt, Icy Mike. Uh, even as an anarchist, I will recommend this ex-cops channel because he's comprehensive and he knows his shit. And he's right when he says that a crenellated, really bright flashlight with strobe settings or a taser on it is better than your fucking keys. Why are you doing that? It's just going to hurt your hand. Like, okay, so here are my keys. You know, I keep them on this nice little fucking thing that I made because I'm ADHD as fuck and I often lose shit and I was tired of losing my keys on a smaller keychain. So I made a big ass fucking keychain. Um, I could use this as a weapon. Am I going to? Fuck no, I'm not. Holy shit. Why would I do that? You shouldn't do that. Because, okay, let's just say, you know, you have this ideal fucking grip situation. You've got your, like, Muay Thai ropes, right? Uh, and you can fucking wrap it around your hand, and you've got control. This is the optimal key scenario, this kind of setup. Um, no, because look at how uneven this force is and how easy it is to swing it around. All I had to do was move my hand in order to get this grip, and then suddenly, I lost all of the, the tension here. Like, even if you get it, like, ideal here, it, it would hurt. But how much fucking force could you actually get in terms of a, uh, of a force differential and, like, trying to actually get this to hurt somebody um, in any meaningful sense uh, that you couldn't get with your fist? If you can't throw a fucking punch, you can't hurt somebody very badly with keys in your hand. It doesn't work. Um, and the harder you punch and, and, and the, the weaker your grip is, like, you can see my knuckles are sort of... I, people have been commenting on that lately, that my knuckles are, like, weirdly big. And I guess they are. I've been punching hard things for a bit now, so that's probably why. Um, but, like... Even somebody with my grip strength who trains every day, um, and I do, I don't take breaks. I train every single fucking day. I took the, uh, the advice of the Bioneer on that, uh, another great channel. Uh, subscribe to both of those. And, you know, even somebody like me, look at this fucking shit. This bends if I don't, if I'm not perfectly careful. Even in ideal circumstances... This might break my hand. If, I, if I'm going to stand the risk of breaking my hand, I would rather just fucking punch somebody. Why not? And um, these keys are useless as a weapon because of that. But, but if I really wanted to wrap my hands with something, I've got something better. I've got this. This is substantial. This bolsters... Ow, oh, my punch... And prevents me from... That's irritating right now. And I was going light. And it, and it protects my knuckles so that I can punch harder and not get fucking fucked up hands. 
I'm doing better like this than somebody who's punching somebody with a key. Especially if their goal is to just, like, you know, I've got one key. What are you going to do with one key? It's going to speep off to the side. Like, if you could really ideally stick this, like, in a sensitive area, like an eye or a nose or something, maybe. But, like, why are you trying to do so something so low percentage for no reason? It doesn't make sense. So, I don't fucking like those. Icy Mike doesn't like those for similar reasons. And it's fucking bad. It, it will get you hurt as a woman to do that. Don't do that. Holy shit. Um, so, yeah, I've thought about this. Men, men might know something. Um, anyway. Check the back seat before getting in the car. Yeah. I check X before getting an X. Good. Keep doing that. I'm not saying it's bad, but like, yeah. Okay, so always carry a cell phone. Might be a good idea. Uh, like, if you're running from somebody abusive, though, make sure that you carry a cell phone that they don't know about because that abusive person might have installed an app or something. Um, like, you know, get one of those, like, Saul Goodman-style fucking, uh, burner phones, and, uh, make sure that it has a reasonable camera so that you can walk down stairwells. You know, that's my advice, anyway. Don't go jogging at night. I mean, yeah, that's okay advice. Uh, I don't follow that advice all the time, though. Because I've trained enough to be confident in my fucking abilities to defend myself. And because, as we'll, you know, finish this list and see, um, I have enough situational awareness that it's, you know, people aren't normally coming after me about anything ever. Um, also because I look like this. Like, that's part of the reason that I stay a hideous freak. Uh, is because I want uh, to, to convey to people that I am not one with whom to be fucked. So, I'm gonna lightning round the rest of these. I gotta make my Wednesday chili dogs for chili dog Wednesdays. Lock the windows when I sleep, even on hot nights. Yeah. Um, I, I have this policy where I go around at uh, the end of the night, um, according, like, so I, I go around and I will turn off the exterior lights lock my uh lock lock the outside doors to the place i live and make sure all the windows are closed and latched and then i have a an ac that you can hear right now uh that's a window unit uh and it has a, a sort of duct that runs to the window and so i'll shut that too um i'm concerned about a variety of things and uh and and having an insecure room or a house that's easy to get into is fucking stupid um and i would never accept that my mother taught me that from a very young age is to make sure the house is secure at night it's easy to do and it you know it prevents the the lowest effort burglars it prevents the lowest effort threats um you know if somebody isn't willing to look suspicious for a bit they're not going to come into your house good do that everybody do that and if you can get one get a window lock that locks, you know. It doesn't even need to be awesome. It just needs to be something that locks. Also, uh, there's a... Uh, he helped me a lot. So I kept uh, his his information in the description of the video, uh, even though, like, he's no longer officially sponsoring. Uh, but Finian at uh, Liberty Professionals, uh, he has a lot of good information on um, security as well. So look him up. Um, be careful not to drink too much. Hey, how about this? Be clean and sober. I've been basically clean and sober for three years. And, um, you know, going on four, really, if you count, uh, the time when I was, you know, just showing up here, um, because I did smoke a couple hits off some joints, right? I, I took, a, I took some hits off some joints, 
because when in Rome, uh, and and the guy who like co-owned the place with his wife that I was staying with, um, he he wanted me to uh, to smoke with him. He sort of regretted that afterward because I got really talkative. So yeah, um, didn't do that for many years after, and I still haven't been drunk in nearly like four years. Um, I I didn't realize how long it was when I described it before, but yeah. Yeah, nearly four years. It's much better to just not ever get drunk. And I'm being completely serious about that. You'll live longer. Uh, you'll have more money because you won't be going to bars or buying booze. You know, shit like that. Just be clean and sober, ladies. Uh, that's my advice. Um, and definitely if you do imbibe, yeah, be careful not to drink too much. That's good. For everybody. Um, never put my drink down and come back to it. Uh, clean and sober deals with that too, but yeah. Yeah. Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. That seems dumb. Um, make sure I, uh, I see my drink being poured. Be clean and sober, to be clear. I can't stress that enough. But, uh, yeah, all this makes sense, and it's all stuff I think about. I don't, like, the, when, I, when I was drinking, I don't think this is a men versus women issue at all. Own a big dog. I can't own an animal here, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I just cut to the chase and I say that little dogs aren't, uh, aren't dogs. They're footballs with natural, uh, natural... Fuck, I can't remember what it's called right now. Natural stands, like football stands. Like, they're not effective. They're little yappers. They can't hurt anyone, and that's the point. They're supposed to be inoffensive. If you want something that looks like that, get a fucking cat. They're better uh, than, than, than a chihuahua. Fucking obviously. Uh, anyway, carry mace or pepper spray. Nothing wrong with that. Zero. And if you get one with a substantial enough, like, outer casing, you can use it as a fist pack, like a roll of quarters. So, yeah. Nothing wrong there. And it's something that I've thought about doing, but, nah. My keys are enough. Like, my, my, key, my key handle here is going to be all I need if I ever need to pack my fist or defend myself. And honestly, I can pretty much just do that anyway. Like, I, I, I work really hard to be strong. And, oh, here's some really good advice. Don't worry about all the guys who allegedly think that a fit woman is gross uh, because they're working out. Because any woman uh, who works out is better capable of defending not only herself, but your spawn. And any guy who doesn't want a woman who's capable of self-defense and defense of others might just want to offend it's something to think about. I want a truck of a woman. That's what I want. Personally. That's on my list. I want to be a truck, and I want a truck of a woman. You know? Big ass fucking muscles. Fuck you up if you fuck with me, muscles. That's what I want out of both of us. You know? I want part of our relationship to be sparring. So... Yeah, get fit. Uh, fitness is going to... And, and be healthy. Like, don't be overweight. You know, because those two are going to help you more than any, you know, any of these, really. Like, being able to move, being able to get the fuck out of there when you can. Like, no mace is going to be useful if you can't run more than, like, half a mile an hour. And you get winded after a block. Don't. Be better than that. Survive and live past 50. Right there. So anyway, um, fucking have an unlisted number. Nothing wrong with that. Have a male voice on my answering machine. I don't have an answering machine. I don't do the male voice. I just have the standard thing that says, uh, you know, leave a message, blah, 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 blah. Because... I would rather it seem like a dead number 
than tell people what my phone number is so they can trace it more naturally. That's a good, like, anti-private investigation trick. Like, if you want to get easier there, just fucking don't use that sort of thing. It's better that way. Uh, park in well-lit areas. Yeah. Unless you're hiding, in which case, you know, maybe uh, not. You know, if you're hiding from somebody. Never use parking garages. Eh. Nah. Nah. You're, you're not going to be any safer outside of a parking garage. Uh, and, and you're certainly not going to be any safer in the elevator that that woman says she prefers taking than a parking garage. Like, that's, that's no. Nah. I mean, parking garages are fine as long as you're, you know, following the rest of these, you know, that, that I thumbs up. Um. Hmm. Don't get on elevators with a lone man or a group of men. Just don't get on elevators. Why is that hard? Just don't get on elevators. Just if if you're worried about elevators, take the stairs. Cuz it seems like a real big fucking trade-off for, you know, autonomy, control and awareness to just not take the stairs. Take the stairs. Please do that. And also, like, a shit ton of stairs have cameras in them. So, you know, you, you could still have that if that was something you wanted. Um, vary my route home from work. Yeah. Uh, watch what I wear. Yeah. I do that too. Don't use highway rest areas. Eh. You know, if you've got the maze, you'll probably be fine. But, like, you know, if you're really that concerned, yeah, I guess, you know, you could find, like, a, a fast food restaurant or something instead. Because those truck stops can be seedy and can be hubs of crime and, you know, assault. So, yeah, I can understand that. I'm not shit-talking that. But, the, you know, most of them are fine. My mom never experienced anything terribly untoward in one, as far as I remember, and she used them all the time. Of course, this is the mother that raised me, and we're kind of fucking insane, so... Eh. Um... Have and use a home alarm system. Maybe. It has to be one that you know and can rely on, and uh, ideally one that isn't advertised by a YouTuber, because any security system that, you know, is advertised by a YouTuber, clearly they don't care about you knowing every part of their security system, and it might be because they just don't understand security. Um, and a lot of them are sort of easy to, to defeat, as proven by Lock Picking Lawyer. Um, don't wear headphones when jogging. That's good advice. It's advice I don't follow, because I like to feel cool. Um, you know, and, and the stronger you get, the more threatening you look, the less likely that is to be a problem. So. Uh, avoid wooded areas, even in the daytime. Also reasonable advice. If you don't want to train for being able to survive post-apocalypse or during a crackdown. If you do want to train for that, you gotta take some risks. Um, but it's good for the common woman, sure, the one that isn't trying to do this. I want the common woman to be more like these things, though. I want them to be fit and healthy and shit. Uh, never rent first floor apartments. I don't like the stairs, I don't like elevators, but don't put me on the first floor. That's contradictory as shit, yo. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, first floor, eighth floor, if somebody wants to fuck with you, they'll do that. And you need to be ready for all potential threats everywhere. That's what situational awareness is. Um, and also, take some martial arts classes, like from reputable dojos and shit, because, you know, all the situational awareness in the world isn't going to do shit if you can't fight. You know, like, oh, you're aware of this situation, but you can't do shit when it happens. Yeah, good for you. Um, only go out in groups. I mean, maybe. That's certainly okay, but sometimes that just means that there's a greater surface area for predators and exploiters. You know. Um, own a firearm. 
own and carry. Yeah, good advice. Um, always meet men for first dates in public places. I just generally say that. I, I only date, like, date date generally in public. You know, because false accusations happen all the time, and having cameras looking at you as an alibi is sometimes useful. Um, of course, you know, I haven't done that much, but, you know, the next one will definitely be that. Maybe we can go, like, have the first date at a gym or something. Uh, make sure to have cab fare. Yeah, or just, you know, carry some cash. That's a good, like, general survival tip that, you know, any sort of secret service or military would tell you to do. Just have, or, or like, fed or any of that. Anybody who knows anything knows that. A lot of these are just things that men know anyway. Like, that if you ask somebody who knew, who, who, who was into, like, serious shit, they would say, yeah. You know? Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, no, it's not a matter of men don't know this, and whoever made this list didn't ask the right men, or just bullshitted, made this stupid fucking list thing that says men, nothing, I don't think about it. Men who, like, actually give a shit, think about all of this, and and help their wife, uh, wives think about all of this, right? Right? It's obvious. Um... Make uh, and never make eye contact with men on the. <laughs> yeah, looking demure and looking away is definitely a better idea than seeming confident and knowing who you are and what you're talking about. No, that's not a good idea. Instead of never make eye contact, learn to walk tall, walk confidently, and wear fucking shades so that they can't see where your eyes are. That's much better. Don't look demure and look away like a prey animal. That's a good way to get the worst kind of men to follow you because they think you're gonna... <laughs> shit like that, you know? It's fucking... Anyway. Um, I'm probably gonna do the stuff, the extra stuff that I would recommend uh, on another video because I, I need to call family. I do that once a week. Um, right? So... I'll probably do that then, but, like, I'm going to wrap this up relatively soon. Make assertive eye contact with men on the street is much better advice, but it also contradicts. Like, maybe these are just from different women who give different advice that contradicts each other, but, like, that's much better advice. Make sure my family knows my itinerary. You can do that if you want. Uh, especially if they live in the same place as you. Um, but if, you know, it's much better to just be aware enough that if something comes up, you can get out of there and, and be fit enough that you can run. Because your family knowing your itinerary doesn't mean anything. Um, if, it, like, any cop worth their salt is going to look at your itinerary and say, yeah, but your family knowing it, what, what, like you're going to update them every day about what you're doing and where you're going? Sometimes you got to launch, honey. Um, and part of being more confident in yourself is going to be learning to launch, you know? Um, have extra locks on my doors and windows. Yeah, good. But make sure they're locks that lockpicking lawyer couldn't easily pick. Like, watch his channel. Make sure my garage door is closed all the way before I drive away. Good. Closed, and also make sure you've got an auto-locking mechanism so that somebody can't just speep it open if they want. Make sure my garage door is closed all the way before I get out of my car. Also good. Obviously. These are things dudes do. A lot of these things, I know dudes who do them, and I'm one of the dudes who would do them, so... You know, it's it's like that, that kind of thing is just fucking normal. And it's one of those, like, I'm not like those other girls. I do all of these. Or, I, I'm so much better than those men. You know, no. Men do this shit, too. At least men who aren't, like, you know, not situationally aware or not smart at all. 
you know, <laughs> leave outside lights on all night is a terrible piece of advice. It's terrible. And the reason it's terrible, uh, or, you know, to have one of those security lights, which isn't really a security light, um, is that all that means is that the thief doesn't have to hold a flashlight. That's all it means. Leave outside lights on all night is just a way to get your house easier to rob. That's all. Especially if you're not there. Don't leave your lights on. What? Um, like, if you leave inside lights on, maybe. But honestly, no. Don't leave, don't leave your outside lights on all night. That just makes your house easier to rob. Lock your car doors as soon as you get in the car. Um, yeah. What? Dudes do most of this stuff, except the gender-specific stuff. Dudes do most of this stuff. I just, I thought I would say, a lot of this is a good list. And if this really was... Um, stuff that only women did. Uh, yeah. Uh, men should be more like these women. That, that'll that be my clickbait title. But, like, ultimately, uh, most men are at least a little bit like these women. And I think whoever compiled this list was probably just lying because they wanted a study that would sell well. Um, but yeah, yeah, do this list. This is a, this is a, well, most of it, you know. And, um, I'll probably make a video tomorrow going over some of the stuff that, uh, that should be added to this list, because there's some stuff that should be added to this list. Um, I'll either do that tomorrow or, you know, sometime before, um, the next vlog stream. Either way, uh, I'm going to call my family, um, because... It's, it's important to stay connected, and uh, I just hope that all of you uh, women out there uh, get fit, stay situationally aware, and uh, most importantly, <laughs> you, got, uh, you got a big threat always looming overhead until we fucking smash 